Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 15th, 2024. Well, we had quite a wild week last week with a lot of volatility. And I know there's probably a lot of folks hoping we get a relief bounce um, this week. And of course, with the ramp up of earnings events, there certainly is a lot of hope and probably hype on um, all of these earnings reports coming in. So um, could be a lot of volatility this week as a result of the earnings reports as well. Um, over the weekend, of course, we had Iran did follow through with their attack on Israel. And of course, Israel is now saying that they are going to respond in kind. Uh, the good news is that uh, their air defense system uh, pretty much um, made the attack um, a very expensive uh, fireworks show, shooting down uh, virtually all of the the potential threats before they got there. So no, no particular damage, but clearly um, raising the stakes over there. And that is having some concern, uh, you know, in various places around the world. First off, Asian markets last night, they were mostly lower on these tensions and particularly focusing on the worrisome um, situation in oil um, that they see and um, certainly the the strong rally in gold showing that there is some fear around the world here in um, in the in these markets and people are running to safety if we take a look at European markets European markets are mostly higher this morning with only the FTSE slightly lower the DAX is up substantially and the CAC is looking good as well U.S. markets are also bullish this morning across the board, looking for a bounce back up in the NASDAQ being up the most, trying to uh, pump in a um, half a point, um, half a percentage point um, gap up this morning, at least this early today. Um, this will change a lot as we move through the morning, but um, showing a lot of bullishness here um, in the morning. If we take a look at oil, we've got oil slightly lower here this morning. Right at this second, oil futures down 78 cents at 84.88. Brent has fallen back down below $90 a barrel at down 72 cents at 89.73. And natural gas is down just a bit over a penny here um, this morning as I record this. If we take a look at our uh, precious metals here this morning gold is just ever so slightly lower after making new record highs on friday down um, uh, seven dollars and sixty cents an ounce uh, to 2366 dollars an ounce but we've got silver and copper a little bit higher while platinum and palladium are just slightly lower and then if we take a look at our bonds our bonds have been moving around just a little bit here this morning easing in some places not easing in others the two-year bond is at 4.93 the 10-year bond is at 4.57 and the 30-year is at 4.67 so obviously still elevated in, um, on those yields um, obviously adding additional pressure to loans things like that additional pressure to banks so we'll want to be keeping an eye on those so what does all that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here um, hope you had a wonderful weekend and are ready for another wild week as we enter a, um, well, a little lighter week on the economic calendar with not reports that probably won't move us quite so much. But then we're going to have a worry about and volatility around all of these earnings reports 
um, that will be ramping up uh, this week. So let's take a look at these index charts and let's see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market today. Um, we'll want to be a little bit careful um, with the volatility that we've seen and just try to shake off a little bit of bias here and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach this market. Um, so let's take a look. Um, if we look right here on the diamonds, we came into this little area little tiny area of support so we can't rule out the possibility if the bears find a little bit more energy in here that we could test this bigger area of price support in the chart so if the bears were to find some kind of inspiration here today then i would look for that press down we might test the low of friday and then push on a bit lower here to test that level now if we push down below that um, i would suggest we're likely going to come down into this area of the chart to test some support um, of the underneath side of that consolidation if the bulls can continue to find inspiration this morning well the first thing we need to do is see if we can break back through um i'm gonna go right here and you can see this morning we're trying to pump through that already trying to pump back up through there you can see this is the pre-market activity right in here and then we're going to be trying to break that candle high and we're going to start pushing up toward these resistance levels here in the diamonds to see if we can press on through and remember we still have this downtrend we need to defeat as well so keep an eye on that as we start trying to press up in a relief rally can we start breaching some of these levels to the upside diamonds has quite a bit of work to do and if you take a look right here on our moving averages you can see um, as we push back up we've got that 50-day moving average now flattening out and starting to roll over just a little bit with that moving average uh, accumulation right in this area could provide some significant resistance for the diamonds to push back through so watch carefully now remember earnings can certainly change that or earnings if the earnings are really good we maybe might just blow right back through there but we'll have to wait and see and just be keeping an eye on all of these middle eastern tensions that we have going on don't forget ukraine either there was attacks from um, um, Russia that is attacking the oil industry and that of course um, could have more impacts to us here in the United States as well. We take a look at our SPY. SPY broke this support on Friday and if the bears were to find additional um, ability to push down well first thing we're trying to gap up here this morning we'd want to test this low and see if we would hold that area of price support and notice that corresponds to a little bit of price support in this area of the chart if the bears uh, push on through there then i would suggest the next level would be down here that would be some pretty big and pretty painful point moves if we were to move on lower now with the bullish sentiment that we've got going here this morning you can see we're trying to gap back up and retest this resistance here in the chart if we can push back up through there then we're going to start looking at some of these levels across here as those resistance areas to test in the chart and pushing back up to see if we can deal with that downtrend popping through there of course you can see we'd come up into this area of the chart and that would be a pretty big point move um, for um, a recovery rally so watch that carefully and keeping in mind that we still held our 50-day moving average here so a very different picture than we see in the diamonds as we try to push back up and of course big tech uh, giants doing the majority of that lifting right now the mag 7 um, is um, a full 30 percent it's never been this high before seven companies are 30 percent of the s p 500 so all you need to do is move some of those mag 7 stocks and you can move um uh, the spy right back up now of course all of those mag 7 stocks are in the qqq as well and pushing back up here they held their 50-day moving average 
um, just barely on Friday, kind of hanging in there. And now we're gapping substantially higher this morning, trying to pump this back up and get everybody buying again. Remember, we've seen a lot of this where it's, it's pop up, gap up in the morning and then immediate selling and whipsaw that off. So be careful. Um, with that, everyone just chasing in first thing in the morning, give it some time. Let's see where it's actually going to go. But if we can continue this bullish move here this morning, pushing this on up right into these downtrend areas of the chart, let's watch that carefully in price resistance areas of the chart. If the bears were to happen to find some inspiration here today, well, we'd have to test this area down in here and then of course breaking on down to uh, last Thursday's low down here. We might test in here. This would be a pretty big move, but a big area of price support for the queues. If the bears were to to find some reason to attack and we could certainly see with the the wars and things out there there could be anything that happens at any moment that changes sentiment here really quickly so be prepared for that and then if we look at our Russell IWM IWM also broke a pretty important support here on Friday you can see failing its 50-day moving average short-term moving averages crossing down here trying to create a little bit a zone of uh, price action resistance in there as well if the bears were um, able to follow through today uh, to the downside first thing we'd look at testing that resistance level on Friday's low and then I think we would probably push on down and we would test some of these levels down in here if you look at that green line this is actually indicating this uh, trend line break that we made here in the chart and a push back down into maybe some of those areas of the chart looks like a possibility so watch carefully for that if we were to really get going to the downside now for the bullish pump that we've got going here to the upside first thing we need to do in iwm is break through that resistance get back up there and then we can start looking at this downtrend and see whether or not we can push on through to these additional levels in the chart and kind of get things going here to the upside remember big tech doesn't help iwm so it's going to be um we've got this dichotomy going on where we've got spy and qqq and essentially seven companies doing most of the work and then um, the diamonds and iwm uh, may be languishing still below their 50-day moving averages so kind of a mix of um, um data here in or mix of sentiment i should say in the indexes if we take a look at our vix well our vix um, obviously rallied pretty hard on friday pushing up i want you to notice that we did come up and we tested this um, downtrend resistance area in the chart we continue to hold on to that upside trend here and we continue to hold this support area so what we need to see is we need to see if we're going to be bullish we need to see those uh, some of that volatility come out of that chart so in that in that case we want to see a pushback in here to test some of these levels of um, resistance in the chart or support in the chart I should say and see whether or not we can push this back down with enough bullish sentiment to relieve some of that pressure if the bears were to continue to find inspiration in here remember guys it's always when we make higher lows in the VIX is when fear really starts to come into the market and you'll notice in here we're holding this upside trend so as we push back in here we're going to want to be watching that little upside trend in here to see whether or not the bulls can push that back down through that area or if we attack this area up here again and possibly even break on through and set a new higher low in the chart if the bears really find some reason to attack if we take a look at our t2122 t2122 is <clears throat> probably our best hope of a relief rally here in the market 
and we can see that we are in the bearish or excuse me bullish reversal zone and if the bears were to push we don't have a whole lot of space to move to the downside here so a little, a little relief makes a lot of sense right now in the market in this gap up open it's unfortunate we're doing it at a gap up because then it leaves everyone behind uh, they can't participate in the gap um, this morning in that relief. So watch that carefully in here. We have plenty of upside opportunity if the bulls can find inspiration. We haven't seen that for a long time. And if we look for um, uh, the bearish inspiration after the gap up this morning, well, you notice we're kind of we're kind of scraping along the bottom here so we do need some kind of relief here in the market our t2108 t2108 continued lower on friday we did kind of um you know shake things up in here pretty substantially last week um in t2108 this is the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average and we fell down here to 32 33 percent of stocks so we show that real weakness here in this um in in this um measurement of the market and you can see we're well below our 50 day or 50 percent area not 50 day 50 percent area of t2108 so any rally back will want to start testing these resistance levels in the chart and see if we can break on through and it will be really important if we can break this back above that 50 percent area here in t2108 if we can and we can hold higher up here then there's every reason to believe we could push back up and test some of these resistance levels in the chart if the bears however were to continue to find inspiration and you can see breaking these support levels that we're seeing in this chart then there is no reason to believe uh, that we couldn't continue this move on down testing some of these lower levels in t2108 and our uh, t2107 is much much better positioned um, at the moment here although we did get some selling here and we've broken that upside trend you can see we're still holding above the 50 percent area here with a percentage of stocks above their 200 day and we're still holding in an area where it, there is some price support in this chart across in here so a bounce up here this morning could be more meaningful and we could start testing resistance levels up here again in t2107 if the bears were to come through and and find some inspiration here then pushing down through there could start to get a little bit critical and breaking below that 50 percent area in t2107 our t2101 this is where um, we're going to have to be watching close because what we have seen here lately is uh, well the last um, last week we saw more breadth to the upside based on selling in the market the sellers were taking over here and we had more upside breadth on the sell wave here what we want to see if you're a bull is we want to see that breadth moving higher on a buy wave and unfortunately we've seen on those buy wave moves we've seen that fade back where we just didn't have enough energy um, to push on through now earnings could certainly change that dramatically and we could see those bulls really push on through showing that breadth increase and on a relief rally it wouldn't be all that much of a surprise to see um, a lift in that breadth here today but watch that closely we don't want to see on this bullish wave seeing that breadth continuing to pull back if we take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today our economic calendar well we've got a few things to be paying attention to we're going to have logan speaking um well all has already spoken i think um, a lot of these um fed speakers this week will be speaking at the imf um international monetary fund meeting that will be happening all week this week but obviously when fed members speak we have to pay attention because of um, the kind of things that they're saying about rates right now we've got retail sales here this morning before the bell that's going to be the most notable um, economic report and you can see retail sales consensus is 
uh, suggesting that the month over month declines from a 0.6 to a 0.4, meaning uh, we may be moving a little bit closer to a recessionary situation if we continue to see retail sales diminish. Um, our uh, X video, um, X um, motor vehicles um, coming in at 0.5, that is an increase. And if we see um, X vehicles and gas coming in flat at 0.3 is where the consensus is looking for today. We've got Empire State Manufacturing. Now these numbers have been awful for a long, long time, but they are showing an improvement here from a negative 20.9 to a negative 5.1. Uh, in manufacturing, we've got uh, business inventories. They're looking at a 0.4. That's up from a 0, 0.0. And we're looking at a housing market index number coming in at 51 or flat here on housing market index. I don't know, with rising rates, that could easily be a miss. Keep an eye on that. We've got bond auctions, uh, three and six, and then daily we'll be speaking tonight. Um, again, I get, I'm get i guessing at the International Monetary Fund. If we take a look into the rest of the week, we've got housing starts, industrial production. We've got a petroleum status number, like always, 20-year bond auction that'll be in there, a beige book, Treasury International. And then we've got uh, our normal jobless claims, a Philly Fed manufacturing number, plenty of Fed speakers throughout the week to be paying attention to, um, existing home sales, and then... Um, Fed balance sheet here, and then of course on Thursday, not much in there, just Goolsby and a Baker Hughes rig count. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. And remember, we're gonna be ramping up um, our earnings reports. So get ready for some, a lot of big numbers um, as far as numbers of reports starting to ramp up and particularly next week it really begins to ramp up um, and we'll start picking up some of those big tech um, reports so let's take a look first off um, notables here for this morning we're going to hear from um, bank of america here this morning um, has not reported yet but keep an eye on that we're going to hear from bk here this morning we've got um CBSH, we're going to pick up some of those regional banks now. We're going to hear from J&J. &J. We've got Morgan Stanley. We've got Goldman Sachs. We're going to hear from um, NTRS. And we've got PNC Financial, as well as United Healthcare, which has been pretty darn bearish. Um, moving to the downside here. This afternoon after the bell, we've got FULT that we'll be reporting. We've got HWC on the list, IBKR, JB Hunt will be on there, OMC, and United Airlines will be reporting after the bell today. So keep an eye on those notable reports. Obviously, we can move the market a lot um, based on how uh, some of these reports come out. So be prepared for the volatility. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that I appreciate it and it really shows the appreciation for the effort of putting these videos together if um, if that's helpful to you please feel free to share these videos out on your social media feed that helps an awful lot and then I just want to uh, a big shout out to everyone who supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link thank you so much for the kindness and support there I really really appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security follow your risk tolerance 
follow your um, trading plan. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at a little bit of area here in that energy sector. Energy has been extremely strong and now we're getting that bit of uncertainty in here. There's been, uh, we've been rallying toward this um, expansion of the conflict and now we're kind of uncertain what that's going to mean here in oil oil is pulling back a little bit there's quite a few analysts out there saying if this continues to expand oil can easily go over a hundred dollars a barrel so if that were the case i would watch these resting pullbacks in here you can see nice little consolidating this is xle but resting consolidation pullbacks and i would look for that next opportunity um, if that were to occur if we start looking at some of the refiners out there valero holding in here holding support into a possible upside pattern so keep an eye on that um, Halliburton lost some support on Friday, pushing down here pretty hard, but let's still keep an eye on some of these stocks. And then uh, of course, um, anything um, into the um, oil sector itself, we'll wanna be keeping an eye on this if the Middle Eastern crisis continues to move up. So there's just a ton of stocks out here to be paying attention to on that front. Watch those closely. And then if we take a look at um, um, the precious metals market, well, we're still gonna have to keep an eye on this. This has been heavily extended, but one of the reasons it, um, on this is we just continue to see a lot of currency fluctuations and uncertainty out there in these currencies creating some of this condition. We continue to see Russia and China buying up gold like crazy, um, continuing to push um, these indexes up. There's a, a level of fear here in the market. And remember gold, silver, things like that are considered a, a place to preserve wealth. And although they are very elevated here, I don't think we can rule them out just yet for some kind of a rest or consolidation pullback and then continue to expand to the upside. So I'd keep an eye on those precious metals here um, and those patterns that um, continue to show lots and lots of um, parabolic moves, but still strength. If they can come back and find some support areas in the chart, I'd be watching those carefully. Um, you would also want to be keeping an eye on things like Alcoa, Alcoa and aluminum looking good, trying to hold up here. Take a look at FCX. Take a look at anything in the mining sector, GDX, um, Newmont, um, there are a lot of potential trades setting up in um, that mining sector here. So watch that closely. Um, GD, um, XJ, uh, the junior miners, also very, very bullish as you can see here in these charts. And I would keep a pretty close eye on those. You might want to also be keeping an eye on some of the um, the financial areas um, as we, whoops, as we, um, well, I'll get this ticker right. Um, <laughs> um, as we look at um, these banking earnings, obviously we've had a pretty substantial sell-off here in XLF, breaking below its 50-day moving average here on Friday. Now we're trying to bounce up as we run into these earnings reports here today on um, some of these big banks. So watch that carefully here. If we were to bounce back up, it is certainly possible we could run into resistance and create our first lower high in here for some time. And then that sets up that opportunity short. And of course that downtrend that could pick up. So watch carefully for that if we continue to see pressure in these banks and with yields so high, bond yields so high, there's certainly reason for concern here on these banks. And then of course, I would keep an eye on the regionals as well. The regionals are struggling here 
pretty substantially. We failed um, the downtrend, the 50 day, and we're back down here testing a 200 day moving average um, in the regional bank um, ETF. So I would watch that carefully for once again um, any failure of that 200 day could be a potential short or if we rally back up look for that next opportunity to potentially short obviously the regional banks um, have a lot of exposure to commercial real estate and that continues to be a pretty substantial problem here uh, for them so watch carefully here on some of these regional banks um, then let's take a look at a few other places in the market. I still like this chart in Qualcomm. It's holding in this consolidating pattern. All we need is a little bit of bullishness. I think here in the market, and we may have that opportunity that that could push on out. I would be watching that closely. Um, I would be watching with UAL reporting this afternoon. I would be watching anything in that travel sector. We have seen an awful lot of strength in the travel sector. If UAL reports well, start looking at things like um, um, Airbnb, which holding into good patterns, uh, things like RCL. It has been pulling back, but I would keep an eye on that. A lot of travel has held up extremely well um, in a market where we're seeing some weakness from the consumer, but watch those closely for those potentials that they could begin to rally back up based on some of these earnings reports in flights. Now, of course, if UAL reports poorly, we could certainly see these continue to move on down. So be prepared for that kind of thing. Take a look at TEVA. TEVA came back and tested this price support here on Friday in the chart, tried to bounce back up. If we can get bullishness going here in the market today, watch for a potential rebreak of this area and then we would look for that move back up and hold and then maybe a resumption of an upside trend here in TEVA. Take a look at um, some of the pay systems out here. They're really starting to falter a little bit and um, earnings are going to be very very important for these as well on these banks and of course rates um, causing them some issues. So as we rally back into here, start watching Visa for that possibility of a rollover. I would be keeping an eye on MasterCard as well for that potential big old shooting star in there on Friday. It tried to pop up, gave it all back. Watch that carefully if it falls off of this support area. That could be a problem. Notice we've got a little bit of a downtrend started in here. We'd have to get back up through there and hold a higher low before I'd see that as very bullish here uh, for the time being. So watch some of those closely. A lot of fluctuation in currencies and a lot of uncertainty in this market continue to um, just raise fears and, and, and emotions that can flip this market around very, very quickly. So be prepared for that as you uh, uh, plan for your trading day. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening and being here this morning. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for all the kind comments that I'm sure you're going to be leaving on the video. You guys are awesome. Do me that favor and, um, and make sure and click that subscribe button if you've not subscribed before. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Wishing you all the very, very best.